Now, I couldn't help, uh, while you're listening to your talk, I think that maybe that explains what happened on November 8, because so many of the, quote, liberal elites have enormous amounts of rational compassion, but it was Donald Trump who empathized with all those people in the Rust Belt who lost their jobs. Yeah, um, you're raising a lot of issues. Um, uh, <laughs> by law, in any discussion of longer than 40 minutes, Donald Trump's name has to be named, <laughs> mentioned. Uh, Donald Trump and empathy uh, are not words that naturally go together, but, but, I, but I think you are right. I think um, Donald Trump was, forget about how much empathy the man himself has a, char has a character trait, this is a separate question. He is A, very good at stoking people's empathy for political gain. I mentioned a uh, talk about the crimes committed by immigrants, but also basically he gets you to, fe if you listen to one of his rallies, he will get you to feel strongly for people who have been lost and abandoned by American elites, uh, people in the Rust Belt, for instance. He's done well at that. And then he does seem to, to do a very good job of exactly what you're saying, of conveying empathy for people, for the people in his audience. They feel, and you, you hear this in interviews, they feel like he really knows them. And it's sort of strange, because he's, of course, his life situation is as different from them as you could imagine. But more than Hillary Clinton, I think he's seen by his supporters as empathic. Um, and my argument here was about empathy as a moral tool. When you, it comes for you and I doing the right thing in our lives, should we rely on empathy? And I argued no. But if it was a talk on how to be a successful politician, the answer would be different. And, and empathy is a tool like stoking up anger and resentment. That's a powerful tool. I agree with you. 